I'm going to show you a super fast way to create a custom character in Character Animator, and we're going to start with the Chad Puppet. So in Character Animator, I'm going to click to open this. You get two options, Photoshop or Illustrator. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, I'm going to use the Photoshop one for this example. And when you launch it, you're going to see your Chad Puppet. If I turn on my camera and my microphone, you're going to see he's already tracking me. One of the advantages of starting with a puppet like this is that the mouth shapes already exist and you can really easily swap out this background shape to turn your puppet into something else. So when you launch it, you've got the Chad scene and you've got the Chad puppet. If you click on the puppet, you'll see that you have the option to edit the original. That's gonna launch it in Photoshop. When I do that, I'm gonna see the file itself here. You got your layers where you've got your Chad puppet all broken down and you'll see that you've got the head, you've got you know left eyebrow, right eyebrow, each element is on its own layer. And the one that we're gonna change is this one at the very bottom is the face background. So I turn that off, you can see all that's left is the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. And like I said, those are the things that are already set up to track and work properly in Character Animator. So all we have to do is swap out this face background and we can turn this character into something completely different. In this example, I'm gonna turn it into an apple. So I've got an apple file here. I've already removed the background, so I'm just gonna drag this into the Chad file like this. And I wanna make sure that it is on the layer right above the background layer at the very bottom here. So there it is. I'm gonna move it into place. I'm gonna, I might make this a little bit bigger with Command T to scale this up and kind of put it right where I want it. So it looks like those facial features kind of fit right in the middle of the apple. Hit enter and I'm gonna turn off the original background. So now if I save this file, go back to character animator, you can see that I am already a talking apple. This is pretty great, but you'll notice that um, I've still got blue eyebrows and when I blink, it's uh, still got that skin tone from Chad. So we can make a couple of quick adjustments to those things so that it looks a little bit more like it belongs on an apple. So let's go back to Photoshop and I'm gonna use layer styles for this. So if I click on the left eyebrow, I'm just gonna double click to bring up the color overlay option. And I'm gonna go, well, this is gonna start on normal and just pick kind of a nice dark reddish color that looks like it might kind of belong to this apple. I'll hit okay and okay, and then I'm gonna copy this style and apply it to the other eyebrow as well. So I will go to copy layer style, find the right eyebrow and paste layer style. Now we've got two nice dark red eyebrows and uh, I'll try applying the same style to the nose. I might make it a little darker than I want it to be, but just so you can see, you can really easily edit those too. Um, and if I want to edit that, I could yeah, I could come in and change the color just for the nose. Maybe I do want it to be a little lighter. Or maybe I want to uh, color pick like a yellowish color from up here or just a lighter reddish color. I'll just click around. That's kind of close to the original color. But anyway, you can see you can change the color as much as you want to. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure to do is change the eyelid color. So if you, within the eye folders, you'll find the blink. So this is right blink. And what I'm going to do, same thing, layer style. And I'm going to go to the color overlay, but this time I'm going to change it from normal to multiply. That's going to keep the nice black outline around the shape. Because um, it looks kind of weird if it's just a solid color. And um, I'll do something similar. I'm going to pick something that's kind of close to the apple color itself. I think that looks pretty good. I'll hit OK, and I'm going to copy this style and apply it to the other eyelid as well. Copy layer style, go to the left eye, I'm going to uh, make the blink visible, paste this layer style here, and there we go. So now I'm going to uh, make those not visible again. Uh, I think it would still work even if you left them as visible, but just to re-kind of set how it was, hit save. And now back in Character Animator, we can see I've got dark red eyebrows and red eyelids uh, and a pink nose. I think it was already pink, but you can see, you can change all that stuff. You could change the tongue color uh, and the mouth shapes if you wanted to. I think it looks fine for this character. And uh, you can swap your face background for 
anything. It could be any photo, any drawing, any inanimate object you can find. Um, that's one of the really awesome things about using the Photoshop version of this is that you can make a talking, anything you can think of. So there you go.